Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Sagittarius their weekly love read. Sagittarius, this is for the week of April 25th through May 1st. Wow. Um, we're going to do You, Them, and the Connection. Um, then we're going to get some Sacred Healing Journey cards, some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages, some Love Vibe messages cards from King of Aloha, a few Hidden Truth Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive, Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Um, white Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, and we're going to finish the read off with some Angel Guide Oracle cards. All right, guys, these are general reads, so take... Wow, that's <laughs> that's some positivity right there, Sagittarius. Um, these are general reads, so keep that in mind if you feel like this is not your read and you need to check your moon and your rise, uh, your moon or your rising signs, please do so. Um, if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that will, um, sorry, these cards distract me, that can get you to my uh, personal webpage if you are interested. Oh, Sagittarius, what the heck is going on with you? So on the bottom of the deck, we have um, a Ten of Wands energy, and this is kind of like putting down your burdens. Um, something might be really heavy and kind of laying it down. Not sure I'm really liking what I see, guys. Mm, let's get into this. Uh, underneath that, though, is the Six of Wands, which is victorious in love. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow, steady energy. The Ten of Cups is a soulmate, true love connection. But bottom of the deck is Ten of Wands. So let's get into this. So Sagittarius, you're showing up. It's very passionate. Um, you're showing up as the Ace of Wands. You're showing up as the Lovers. And you're showing up as the Sun card. These all are very positive cards in general. Um, so I definitely see you as very passionate, very fiery, very full of um, kind of spunk, if you would say. Like you could be flirty, you could sex be sexy, you could be passionate, but you could also just be very passionate in general in terms of very fiery, very fiery, like very opinionated, kind of very um, outspoken, very fiery. Um, you're definitely showing up as positive and optimistic and joyful, or uh, perhaps that you might be pregnant, but um, lots of joy, lots of happiness, lots of passion. And then we have this card here, which is the lover's card. So the lover's card is uh, true love, soulmate, energy, a marriage, a union, but it's also a choice in love. So Sagittarius, I think I'm going to clarify this card. If I'm being truly honest, I feel like the outcome, I don't really need to clarify, but I'm going to clarify anyway. So I'm going to clarify this choice in love here and or soulmate energy. So let's clarify what the lover's card is. Wow, all those wanted to fly out. Let's clarify what this lover's energy is for Sagittarius. I get the sun and that's already out there. All right, all right, all right. So I do feel like, I feel like this lover's card could be a choice in love because we have these two cards that kind of contradict one another, right? So the Five of Cups is like sadness, depression, missing out. Instead of looking at all these glorious cups that you have behind you, you're focused on what you don't have. So this is like the apathetic, apathetic feelings, missing out, feeling sad. Then we have the Sun card, which is like the most positive card in the deck, right? And then we have Temperance or Patience. So I feel like maybe the choice is not between you and a person or two people. It's more of... Are you going to stay in this positive position of all these and be mindful of all the blessings that you have? Or are you going to be focused on what you don't have? So I guess that's the question. So I think this lover's card is, is truly a choice of what path are you picking? And are you patient enough to get balanced out? Because the temperance card, if you look in there, the, you know, the water's going back and forth between the cups. It's about, like, balancing things out. So I almost feel like, Sagittarius, you are fighting this battle between happiness and sadness. You're fighting this need or want or desire to be positive, um, but the sadness keeps overcoming you, almost like depression to me. Um, I do feel like things will balance out if you kind of stick with it. 
with the temperance card. I think it's going to take some patience. Your person looks pretty amazing, um, but pretty sad. I feel like your person is definitely your twin flame. This is the four of wands. This is a twin flame card. This is that stable energy, um, positive, grounded, um, definitely home. This is this person is home to you. This person is your twin flame. However, for some reason, this person is like waiting for their ships to come in. They're like waiting and looking for something positive. They're waiting for a change almost because they're feeling heartbroken. Uh, let me just clarify. I'm going to clarify these, the three, I'm going to clarify the three of wands energy along with the three of swords energy, the threes here. Yeah, five of cup, five of pentacles. Oh, Jesus Lord. Poor, poor person. Okay, so I was clarifying the two threes, right? The three of swords and the three of wands because this could be a card of travel, like long distance, right? Maybe they're sad because this is a long distance situation. Sorry, that's my washer. <laughs> um, I feel like they're really waiting for this ship to come in. I feel like your person's really waiting for this positive change. Maybe this person that you're with is is stuck with you between this happiness and this sadness. Because here, look, they're showing up as this king of pentacles, right? They're show, This could be an earth sign. You could be with an earth sign. Showing up as this very stable, committed, loyal energy. This person wants to be with you. This person knows that you guys are twin flames. This person is your home. This person is stable. This person is loyal. This person is committed. This person is grounded. This person's a caretaker. Sorry, I'm like getting angry. <laughs> uh, and they're feeling heartbroken and left out in the cold. Why, Sagittarius? Why are they feeling that way? Perhaps it's due to the connection. Um, so I think we're going to have to clarify some of this too because I've said this many, many, many reads. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, which normally would make me happy because we have the King of Pentacles here, right? So King and Queen is a pair. I hope that is the case for you, Sagittarius. I hope this is showing a divine match. But unfortunately for my interpretation of tarot, this Queen of Pentacles card sometimes shows up as a third party situation. And we have a Lies and Deception card here. Um... Good saving face card here is the magician. So I do feel like whatever you are manifesting, Sagittarius, whatever you are hoping for, whatever you are wishing for will come true. But what in, in your connection? You have, there's a, this a soulmate twin flame connection between you and your person, but there's lies and deceptions. Could be a third party situation. I'm going to clarify this because it could be lies and deceptions that you're you're fighting with within yourself or within the connection your person could be lying and deceiving you your person could have a third party situation but i don't i feel like they're sad i feel like they're heartbroken um i don't know so let's clarify let's clarify this queen of pentacles first this is going to be a long one sagittarius compared to everybody else Lies and deception again. You've got to be effing kidding me. So we have the King of Cups, Lies and Deception, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So you, this energy of this Queen of Pentacles is a love situation in which there are lies and deceptions. Um, let me clarify this. Lies and deceptions. Who's lying to who? Let's see. Give me some clarification about this Seven of Swords and this energy here. Um, so when I clarify the lies and deceptions, I feel like, honestly, guys, it's showing the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles, which are two very singular energies. I feel like you're lying to yourself, Sagittarius. I feel like for some reason you are telling yourself that you would be absolutely fine being single. You would be absolutely fine on your own. You would be absolutely fine, um, being independent, and I think that's all effing lies. <laughs> I think that's all lies. I think you're lying to yourself. Um, I think you love this person, potentially. I think you love this person. 
um, in your energy. This King of Cups here, but there's lies and deceptions. I think it's potentially what you're telling yourself, to be truly honest. Um, but these energies have other pages, so they're like immature, immature energy. I honestly feel like Sagittarius, um, you know that you have a good thing. I think you get stuck up in your in your back and forth between being happy and being sad, and you're trying to kind of get that in balance. I don't think it is in balance. I think you're lying and deceiving yourself. And when I think when you get frustrated, you feel like you can be single. You can be single. You'll probably be okay single success-wise. But is that what you really want? I think you're lying to yourself. Um, I do feel a little bit better. I do feel like this is potentially not a third party necessarily after I get everything kind of clarified. More so like a battle between happiness and depression, to be truly honest. And that these are actually counterparts. And that these are actually twin flame soulmate connections. So I'm not sure what you're doing, Sagittarius. You're feeling burdened about something. So maybe this burden will just drop. Maybe you will drop this burden and things will get better. I hope so. All right, let's get the Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144. Give us some, some more info. Com contemplation, deep reflective thinking. Surrender, spirit will guide your soul. Fireworks, explosive sexual chemistry, and clouded view not seen clearly. Again, I kind of feel like this is uh, your two extremes here. Like your fireworks, you're full of uh, passion, that ace of wands, your explosive sexual chemistry, and then clouded view. Not seeing things clearly. Then you get all stuck in your head. But thankfully for you, I think spirit will guide your soul. You'll be divinely guided. Patience. God's plan will, will roll through and kind of get you where you need to be. All right, let's get the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. Seven is let me have you. I just want you all the time and time to ground yourself. Yes. Does that make sense to you? Eleven, this love scares me. Um, I don't know. I kind of almost feel like uh, this is that passionate side of you. Like, I just want you all the time. Let me have you. And then um, then there's other times where you're feeling all over the place and you need to ground yourself. Maybe you're feeling sad and down. I'm not sure what this yes card is, but maybe you were thinking a question as you were listening to this and there was a yes answer. Or, I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling kind of... <laughs> frustrated with this reading guys um let's get well i do know i think i do know uh let's get some love vibe cards from king of aloha for um sagittarius is in their person i want you to love me that could be you to your person or your person to you i promise not to break your heart again that could be your person to you or you to that your person i have a bad reputation is that okay I get jealous of how you interact with others. All right, let's get a couple of Hidden Truth Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! We will be together again. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I want to feel that way again. I hide behind material things. So I feel like um, this person, if you guys are not together... Uh, I think you will be back together. Uh, I don't think... You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I want to feel that way again. I think uh, if you are in separation, I think you will come back to separation. I almost feel like Sagittarius, you will kind of get your balance and your person will stop feeling heartbroken because you'll be balanced out. But Did a card fly out? Did it flip, oh, flip backwards? There we go. I was like... Like, I know I saw something flip. Um, my whole body burns at the thought of you. So I think there's that passion again. This is White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages, if I didn't say what this is. Your words keep ringing in my head. Forgive me. I have never felt this way before. I do not know how to act. 
All right, guys, let's finish your read. Well, that came out really fast. Um, for the Angel Guide Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray, you guys got Friendship and Union. So let's see what this book says for you. I'm going to read from the book. Your message is, this is a time for coming together. Friendship and other connections are important now. There is a strengthening in your bonds with others and with your capacity to know who your people are. You are surrounded by incredible, insightful, and encouraging people at this time, and it is important to enjoy friendships and other connections you have. If you have felt disconnected or out of place for some time, you know that you are moving into a far more supportive and joyful space now. Your angel guide is encouraging you to connect deeply with those you trust most. Ask yourself, how can you bring your whole self into your friendships and relationships? Be present, listen, open up, smile, laugh, um, venture forth, and enjoy this time. All right, Sagittariuses, that's going to conclude your read. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, guys, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.